Welcome back to the Milwaukee Public Library Makerspace at Home Edition. In this Take and Make Instruction Kit, you will find how to make the Morse Code Machine. Your Take and Make Kit will include the following materials. You also need some scissors. Cut your duct tape into thin strips about half an inch wide or thinner. Now take your two wires with plastic ends and bend the tips of the wire as shown. Do the same for both wires. Rip your copper tape into small pieces. Peel it and rip it into about a quarter inch pieces. You should have two. Now take your wire end, the metal part, and use the copper wire to tape your wire to the side of the battery. It should look like this. Now take note, it should not look like this. Notice how the copper tape goes all the way around to the other side of the battery. It should stay on one side of the battery as shown here. Now flip your battery over and attach the other wire. Use the copper tape. Do not wrap the copper tape to the other side of the battery. Just like this. Now grab your thin piece of duct tape. Peel it, revealing the sticky side, and wrap it around the battery, securing the wires into place. You can use more than one piece of tape if you see fit. Let's learn how to use the breadboard. It might look complicated, but every vertical hole in a row is going to be attached to each other. So if you plug your LED in, all the holes in the left row to the LED will be attached to each other, and all the holes in the right will attach. So you should be able to attach the two wires to any of the holes in the vertical rows of your LED. If your LED does not light up at this point, try turning the LED around 180 degrees. Since all the holes in the same vertical rows are all attached to each other, you should be able to move the wire into any of the holes in the same row and still turn the LED on. Now take your button and place it in the breadboard as shown. Take note of the direction of these prongs. The curved side should be parallel with the direction of the vertical rows. Now take your battery. Take one of the wires and stick it in the lower right hole connecting to the prongs of the button. Take your buzzer. Notice the buzzer has a long and a short prong. They're at the width to fit into the lower first hole and the fourth hole. Now place the remaining wire into the first hole as shown. Now take your third wire and stick one end into any of the holes in the fourth row. Now stick the other side into the other end of the button. It should beep when you press the button. If it does not, try turning the buzzer 180 degrees. Now, if you want to use the LED and the buzzer at the same time, you will grab your LED and fit both prongs into the first and fourth holes as shown. If it does not light up, Try flipping it around to complete the circuit. Challenge yourself by sending a secret message using the Morse code alphabet included in the kit. M P L See what you can send. We hope you like this project. If you want to share your project with us, tag us on Instagram at mplcreates. Or you can email us your feedback at mplcreates at milwaukee.gov. Thanks for watching.
and stay creative.